Hi there, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a makeover in the caravan and this is in conjunction with Took Me Under Bedding. So stay tuned and we'll show you what we're doing. So a few months ago uh, we did a video about Tuck Me Under's bedding and we were pretty impressed with it. In fact, it, quite a few people were impressed with it because I know that they've been out and they've ordered it. Um, it's a brilliant solution uh, to the island bed and also the French bed and other beds uh, come to think of it. But primarily I think it's great for the French, uh, French bed and the island bed. Now uh, they branched out a little bit and they are now doing curtains. Now, personally, I don't particularly care for the curtains that come with this caravan. Uh, they're not my cup of tea. Juliet doesn't mind them, but I, I don't like them. And plus, because we did the actual curtains in the bedroom, which you don't get standard, um, they didn't match uh, because this stuff, believe it or not, is very expensive to get your hands on. So what we thought was we'd contact uh, Tuck Me Under and asked them if they'd be interested in doing a video and making some curtains, especially for our caravan. So what I'm going to do today is show you one, how to get these curtains off, because there is a little bit of a, a way of doing it, and also how to measure your curtains should you wish to make have them made by Tuck Me Under. So first of all, let's take a look at how we take the existing curtains down. So to remove the curtains, we just pull this forward. As you can see, we've got a double track at the bottom. We also, at the front of the caravan, we have a top uh, track as well. So what we need to do is remove these tabs here. Now these tabs prevent the curtain sliding off. And how you do that is you lift up this tab here and pull and they come off like so. Now remember to store these somewhere safe if you're taking these off, you don't want to lose them because believe it or not, they're expensive to replace. So after we've removed the tabs, we can see that we've got the, the runners that slide into the curtains. All we're going to do is slide these off, like so. And we're going to keep doing that top and bottom until we've got them off. Now to remove the runners from the actual curtain itself is, in our case, is quite simple. You pinch this little clip here like so and lift it up. And then once you've done that, you slide it off the runner. Now, again, do not lose these. These are 48 pence each, which I think is ridiculous. But, unfortunately, that's the way they go. I looked online to get some extra ones, and I was amazed at the price. 48 pence each. Okay, folks, so what we've done now, we've removed all the curtains from the caravan um, so that we can now measure them before we go on the website and actually... Uh, Put our measurements in for tuck me under now one important thing is measure them as they are don't allow for seams etc okay just measure them as you see them and uh, they want the width and the length now one thing i did notice especially with the front caravans ones if you can just see there there's an actual gap before it reaches the tape where the actual gliders go in and on ours it's actually two centimeters so in the comments section of the Tuck Me Under website where you order your curtains, put in the comments uh, about the, 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 the gap that you've got there, okay? So that they will sit flush and Tuck Me Under know what to do, they will sort it for you. So let's have a quick look at uh, some samples that we were sent, um, basically because we were unsure at that time what would actually go in the caravan. And it is a difficult decision, but we learnt something while we were going along uh, choosing these curtains and I'm going to share that with you now. Okay, so here's a little tip that we learned. If you're going to order some form of pattern, like this geometric pattern that we've got here now, you've got to bear in mind the size of it. Now, you don't want to have a big, massive, bold pattern on it because it'll, it won't be relevant to the size of your caravan. In a house, you'd get away with it, but in such a small space, confined space, it would seem busy and it'd probably be probably not pleasant to the eye and you'd probably get sick of it pretty quick. So you've got to consider if you're going for a pattern how big the pattern is going to be in relevance to the room that you're going to be using, i.e. your caravan. 
So Tuck Me Under's website offers a vast array of textures and colours and patterns to choose from. Now as our caravan is mainly greys and blues, we opted for obviously colours similar to that. So what we uh, did was we selected a few but we still couldn't quite un see them in the caravan. So Michelle got these sent from the manufacturers for us. Now she can do it with some of the uh, patterns and colours, but she can't do it with them all. But you'd have to check with uh, Tuck Me Under before ordering. Now what we did was we looked at these and the first one was this one, um, which I said earlier, um, it's the pattern on this is it's nice, but it's, it's too big. It looks like this. Now, we ruled that out basically because the pattern size was too much. This one arrived and uh, we couldn't really see anything from this because uh, I don't know what the manufacturers were thinking, but the actual pattern for this, believe it or not, is this. So they just sent this section here, which wasn't really much use. So that one got eliminated straight away. We looked at this one, which we thought, hmm, it's got all the colours that we need. We quite like that. And the actual pattern is this, which is very sort of 60s, 70s, very retro. And we thought, yeah, that's not too bad as well. So that was a consideration. So we'll put that over there. And then we took a look at this one as well. Now, we like this one because the pattern was relative to the size of the caravan, um, as we've been discussing. Uh, it looks like this. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do the big reveal and show you exactly what we ordered out of these two and uh, see what you think. Remember this is personal taste, you might choose something completely different. But this is what me and Juliet chose and we're happy with the results. Well everyone, these are our curtains from Tuck Me Under and we're really pleased with them. Uh, they uh, match the caravan really well uh, in our opinion and uh, yeah, we're absolutely pleased. They're very well made, they're also lined and you even get a little label just to let you know that Tuck Me Under have made them. Now as well as the curtains, they will supply you with cushion covers should you wish to choose that option. We chose to get two and uh, we think that they uh, match in with the curtains and the upholstery very well. They will make you uh, also tie backs as well. We chose not to go with the tie backs, primarily because Swift actually screwed the uh, original tie backs into the frame of the blinds. And also we thought that the originals would help tie in with the upholstery. So if you're interested in any of the products that Tuck Me Under make, which is quite a few now, because they make the Tuck Me Under bedding, which we've already uh, done a little video of, I'll leave a link up there. They are also starting to do upholstery as well for your front lounge cushions. So that might be worth a look as well. And you can get the whole package, including the curtains. So why not click the link below to the website and have a look. There's also a telephone number there. So if you've got any queries or questions that you would like to ask them, they're only there to help, which is great. Well, thank you very much for watching. I do hope you'll join us again. But in the meantime, bye for now.